What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty NDV10. Uh, I have got seven cards to show off today, um, as well as an announcement. Uh, I will be attending the uh, National next week. Uh, I'll be heading in on Thursday morning and flying out Sunday, so I'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, yeah, so uh, if you see me, uh, say hello. Uh, I'd love to meet some uh, some YouTubers out there and um, yeah, it's a great time. I haven't been since 2016, maybe. Gosh, maybe even 2015. Yeah, maybe even 2015. Wow. Anyways, uh, first up, we got Cy Seymour batting. It's a sweet cap, 150.25. So a little cool little added bonus there. Got some, got some good color on that one. Uh, let's see, Seymour is a 150.350 print card um and he is 304 on the scarcity list uh next up we got roy brashear the kansas city team really beautiful orange background a lot of time the the orange backgrounds are faded out this one had perfect registration and uh really good centering excellent color really happy to get this 350 back there for mr roy brashear that scratches on the case, you see. Uh, and Brashear is a 350 only print. He is 386, so pretty common. Uh, next up, we've got Joe Lake. Uh, ball in hand. Lake has three poses, I believe. Yeah. Yes, three poses. Um, this one is pretty easy. It's a 460 only. Uh, it is uh, 345th. So what I mean by that, if you're still kind of new or catching on, Piedmont came in three different series, 150, 350, or 460 subjects. This is the 460 subject here. Um, obviously, that would be a 350 subjects. I don't think I got a 150 around. No, I don't. Anyways, Joe Lake. Uh, this card's a little tougher than I think. Uh, the list gives it credit for it, but this one was excellently centered, had good color. Case has seen better days, but yep, Joe Lake. And next up, got an incredibly dark blue on this card. I just fell in love with it. I got this card from Sterling Auctions, I believe. Jimmy Dygert of the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Dygert, pretty common. He's a 350 only back, 426. But man, this thing is so sharp. I could. Could see this being uh, four and a half. No problem. If you put it in a five holder, I probably wouldn't bat an eye either. Back's pretty clean as well. So 350 only. But the color on this card just blew me away. Sometimes they, they get a little little light, maybe like the O'Hara there in the background. But uh, yeah, Jimmy Dyger. Really happy to have that one locked down. That was a big upgrade. Uh, and then last three cards. Uh, well, one more. kind of common, but such a beauty. I saw this, immediately hit the buy it now. Just just absolutely gorgeous addition. So happy to have this. It's uh, George McBride uh, for the Washington Senators. And McBride is the 350 only print subject. And he is 329th set. There's the Piedmont 350 back. Love it. So uh, George McBride. Just a beautiful green on that. Excellent registration. Again, just fell in love with that card when I saw it. Knew I had to buy that. And that's perfect for my set. Absolutely love that card. Uh, last two. This was the last Cubs Hall of Famer that I needed for the Cubs Hall of Fame subset. They got quite the list there with Tinkers, Evers, Chance, Mordecai Brown. Um, you know, and they all have, gosh, three, four poses, <laughs> some of these guys. Uh, Tinker has four poses in the set. I got this from REA. Fairly happy with it. Uh, this card oftentimes has registration and color issues, um, but being a 460 only subject uh, print, I, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of the 460s um, kind of just got like the end of the ink. Uh, printing plates were, I don't know, weren't as quality some of the earlier runs, just in my opinion. So this is a Sweet Capital 460, no overprint, factory 30 back. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, really solid example of this card. Uh, Cub stuff, just 
skyrocketed to the moon. So I was pretty happy to have that locked down. Last Cubs Hall of Famer I needed. This last card was a big upgrade as well. I had previously a two and um, stoked to land this three. Very, very, very tough card. Um, scarcity list has this card at number 18. It's a 350 only back. Uh, and it is a Baltimore player. Doc Adkins. He was an actual doctor. <laughs> I believe he graduated from John Hopkins University. But uh, this card is just super tough, as a lot of the Baltimore guys are. This is the toughest Baltimore guy. Um, color on this thing is literally insane. Love this card. Such a dark orange. Um, I mean, just fantastic. Couldn't, couldn't ask for a better example. Piedmont 350 there. But uh, yeah, that's all I've got, guys. Um, if you are heading to the National again, I'd be super, super stoked to meet you. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.